recommendations are the most trusted form of advertising. All right, this is something that Nielsen did just a year ago. Uh, pretty extensive study. Recommendation from people, no, is the number one most trusted by like, quite a margin. 90% of the respondents point to that as one of the most trusted forms of advertising. And so for us, you know, we've been thinking a lot about, well, how can we take that and create a recommendation marketing platform? How can we take this activity that is so natural to what people are doing on LinkedIn? And so impactful to how companies market and sell their products and services, how can we turn that into a platform for marketers to take advantage of? And when we thought about what would this platform have to do, it really came down to two things. Helping people make fast, common decisions to do business with you. And second, help your customers bring you more customers by virtue of sharing those recommendations out right? That's what we've been working on today. Uh, or that's what we've been working on for, for not much today. That'd be pretty amazing. Uh, we've been working on for quite some time, but we're going to share it with you today. And, uh, and to do that, what I'd like to do is bring up Ryan Roslansky. He's uh, our product manager at LinkedIn, and he has, uh, he's got something pretty exciting to show you. So with that, Ryan, come on up. Yeah, so we, we built this today. <laughs> Great. Uh, so, um, right, so quick introduction, Ryan Roslansky, Director of Advertising Products. Uh, it's, it's my role to, uh, to decide kind of from an advertising perspective what products are bring to market to help, uh, you know, companies, people, uh, you know, really kind of market their products or services or their hiring brands, et cetera, uh, on LinkedIn. Uh, I've been in the advertising, you know, building online advertising products for about 12 years now, and uh, you know, I've always seen kind of the most successful products are those where they really, really leverage some of the, uh, you know, kind of the, uh, the assets that, that, that a publisher brings to the table uh, for, for something that's beneficial for both the advertiser and for the, uh, the consumer on the other end. I think this is a product that, that really kind of does a lot of that. So, so we're, we're, we're pretty psyched about this. Uh, you know, like Steve said, uh, you know, we've done a lot of research about uh, how people are using LinkedIn and, and kind of two things are pretty apparent. One, uh, you know, people are making a lot of recommendations on LinkedIn. Those recommendations are very valuable uh, sources of insight for people. So I'm going to dig, dig into this, but before I go, I want to make sure that we're all kind of on the same page with, uh, you know, with, with LinkedIn in general. You know, this is my LinkedIn homepage, and uh, you know, more than anything, it's uh, it's uh, insight. Uh, you know, kind of my professional network, what people are doing, who they're connecting with, etc. Uh, you know, so they kind of scroll through here, as you see. You know, we have, we have an ad here as well. Uh, you know, keep keep this ad unit in mind of what it currently looks like. I'm going to show you something else. Uh, Towards the end of this, um, you know, uh, again, you know, we're, we're, we all have LinkedIn profiles. We know a lot about it. Here, I see, um, you know, James Burnett is in, in the audience. Uh, we're in Central Park this morning. Uh, good for you, James. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, clicking in James' profile, uh, you know, LinkedIn really, for the most part, revolves around these <laughs> member profiles. Eight million member profiles. Uh, li literally, someone is joining LinkedIn uh, every second. Uh, and, and what's key to these profiles is, is we all know and have talked about. Um, you know, the professional identity here. So, you know, I can see, you know, who James is, what he does, where he works, his industry, uh, you know, et cetera. I can see where he's worked before. Uh, and and, and this, this is just, it's really important to, to once again echo how important, you know, his professional identity is. This, this, this isn't, uh, you know, James elsewhere on the internet might be, uh, you know, too cute for you, 42 or something. <laughs> 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 no, but, but, but when James is on LinkedIn, he, he is James Burnett. James is connected to his boss, to his clients, to the decision makers, etc. So what he does on LinkedIn, uh, you know, he, he, he takes pride in what he's doing. Um, so amongst all these things that we have on the on the member profile, you know, one, one piece of data that we have that you know all of you have member profiles have is you know you put in the company that you work for and they, uh, you know you currently work for or have worked for in the past. And you know about a year and a half, two years ago, we decided to actually. Uh, pivot on one of those pieces of data, the actual company that, that, that you work for. So we said, hey, we got a lot of member profiles. Well, let, let's take a little bit of a different, uh, you know, uh, uh, tact here and take a look at actually how people, uh, you know, kind of work, work around companies. So again, about, you know, uh, a year and a half, two years ago, we launched a company profile product. And basically what that did, again, to pivot on this data, um, we launched a couple thousand of these. We kind of manually created, um, you know, uh, and then let them organically grow. So today we have well over a million companies that have profiles on LinkedIn that have, that have been organically created. Uh, what these profiles tell you are obviously things like, you know, who you know in the company. So obviously this is LinkedIn, I work at LinkedIn, so I'm gonna know a lot of people here. Um, you know, new hires, uh, employees, etc. cetera. Uh, companies can add their, you know, kind of corporate Twitter uh, account and pull those things onto the page as well. Obviously, you know, it's ever getting a lot of, 
quite a good play about, uh, about this event right now, which is great. Um, you know, recent activity on LinkedIn, jobs posted, people coming and going, et cetera. Uh, you can see that two hours ago I updated our company subscription. Uh, that's correct. Um, <laughs> a concept up here called, uh, called Follow Companies. We actually launched this, it's funny, about, uh, about three or four months ago. It gives the ability for consumers to actually follow companies on LinkedIn. And, and, and when you follow a company on LinkedIn, you learn a lot of things. You, you can be noted. Uh, when a company has a new job opening, when when someone new joins uh, joins a company, etc. We have over 30 million professionals that are following companies on LinkedIn. It's one of our most successful products. We're, we're pretty psyched about it, especially as it relates to what I'm about to get to. Um, so you know, this is kind of a company's professional profile of record uh, on LinkedIn, and uh, you know, we've noticed the engagement with these company profiles, uh, you know, just skyrocket in the, uh, in, you know, over the past year. Um, you know. A, a, a lot of people visiting them on LinkedIn to learn insight about the company. And so, you know, what, what we've done is given companies the ability to actually now use this as a marketing platform to do things. So, you know, this isn't something we're announcing today, but what companies can obviously do is they can promote their hiring brands. Uh, you know, so we have, we have a careers tab here where, where, where companies can, you know, use that to actually promote, um, you know, working at this company. Uh, we've actually had this out there for about a month. It's, uh, it's great. You know, we've got a ton of companies are using it. Uh, and then what we're launching today, uh, what I built today, <laughs> is, uh, you know, is, is, is this product tab uh, and this product assurances that a company has. So, you know, I, I know who I know with this company, uh, I know what jobs they posted, but what does this, what does this uh, company actually do? And this is where our recommendations come into play. So, you can see for, uh, you know, for LinkedIn, um, you know, here are the products and services that, that LinkedIn does. You know, we have a we have a recruiting product. We allow recruiters to leverage LinkedIn to find uh, to find you know new people that work at our company. We have a bunch of advertising products. We have this company page product. We have the custom groups product that Steve just talked about, etc. Um, you know, adding adding company uh, adding products to your page is, is actually pretty simple. Um, you know, uh, if you can see up here, since I'm a LinkedIn employee and I'm I'm an admin of this page, and you know, companies can designate um, you know. Whoever they want to be an admin of the page, it can be their employees, it can be an employee, it can be an agency, etc. Um, you know, but as an, as an admin, I have this buttons up here. I can you know click to add a product or service. It's, it's pretty easy. Everything's done online. Uh, you know, fill out a couple, couple of uh, quick fields here, and you click click submit. I can add um, you know things like the website I want people to go to if they're interested in this. I can actually you know one of the cool things about LinkedIn is that if I if I want to note people that I want people to uh, you know note people to, to contact about this product, you know I can actually you know start typing this. I mean, if I want people to contact Steve about this product, I can go through here and then have them on the page. Uh, you know, if, if my company is running a special promotion about a product, I can leverage it here. If, if I have a you know a YouTube video about this product, I can you know pretty easily uh, paste in the URL there and have it listed on the page. So it's a it's, it's a fairly easy way to get your products uh, you know kind of uh, listed up on the page. And once once you have a, once you have a product listed on the page. Um, you know, uh, again, this is kind of the employee, me as an employee of LinkedIn. Um, you know, you can start to get recommendations. One thing that we actually, the decision we made was that as an employee of the company, I actually cannot recommend uh, this product. What I can do, though, is I can request recommendations. I can ask people in my network to, you know, to come to this page and, uh, you know, uh, you know, re request this product to use it so I, I can request, you know, my, my clients and customers to use LinkedIn Recruiter product to come and use, to come and use this product as well. Um, and then, you know, I can, I can come here and I can see other people that are recommended it too. Um, you know, we, we're also giving companies the ability uh, to actually do analytics about the company's pages as well. You can see that for the month of October, you know, our LinkedIn page alone had about 33, you know, thousand pages. It's, uh, you know, again, all professional pages, a lot of good context about just coming visiting the page. We can show, show you things like, um, you know, people who are visiting these pages, what industries they're coming from, you know, IT, computer software, et cetera. We can actually take a look and see, you know, what companies members are coming from to our company page as well. Um, you know, a lot of cool data inside about who's actually using our products and services. So that's, that's, that's the view from, you know, me as the company employee 